children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. Held them fast. They refused to let them go. Con, even to this day, man. We're still captives to, to the so-called white man. No. We're still we're still captives. You know, mentally. You know, Esau did a good job, so-called white man did a good job programming our people, man. And messing up their minds on all these different philosophies, all these different uh, religions, you know, on on this on this uh, entertainment, you know, hip hop movies, you know, the minds of our people are gone. That's why the scriptures specifically say, "My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge." Jeremiah 15, 34. Their redeemer is strong. Our Redeemer is strong. He's our Redeemer, and I'm sure. What? If the Lord of hosts his name, he shall thoroughly plead their cause. That's right. That he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. And disquiet the, the inhabitants of Babylon. So how is he going to destroy oh. Babylon? Alright, or America. Can the fire in the city. He's going to kill the fire in the city. He's going to attack the guns. Get a shot in the sun. Gonna give us rest. We're gonna inherit the Israelites. Are gonna inherit the kingdom, starting with the elect. This is uh, Amos. Joel. 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 Three verse nineteen. So. It don't, it don't matter. It don't matter what we do. Joel 3 verse 19, Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. For the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. For Judah shall dwell forever in Jerusalem from generation to generation. Read that again. It says Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom a desolate wilderness. Yep, so basically America's gonna be destroyed. Read, uh, give me Revelations. Egypt. All right. So, so America essentially is going to be completely wiped off the face of the map, and uh, the elect are going to be beamed up in the chariots. You know, we touched a little bit on the chariots. You know, when the when the bull came up, but you know, you know he re yeah Khan. You know, he had a lot of questions, and you know he left basically astonished. You know. He had this look on his face like he couldn't handle it. It just, it just, it just, it just, just walked away, you know? <laughs> Man, <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know? You know, he wanted to know about, you know, reincarnation. We hit that. You want to know about the, you know, the angels, you know? You know, we gave him that, you know? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, and then you know I got that twice now today. You know what? What, 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 what nationality are you? But that's okay, you know, because you know these, you land tribes, y'all need to stand up, man. You know, for the rest of the tribes, you're the head of the Northern Kingdom, right? So y'all got to stand up, man, and, and, and bring all the tribes together. And then it was all of our responsibility once once you come into this knowledge of truth to do the exact same thing and address certain questions. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, Revelations 11 verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. So that's referring to America. Okay. Which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Don't take pictures of our faces. You can take pictures of the signs. That's a Cristo Negro. That's a Cristo no Blanco. 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 Madre de Dominio. Madre de Dominio. Madre de Diablo. Madre de Diablo. Ay, de puta. Can I, can I read something real quick? Yeah, right. Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. Yeah, so that woman, you know, every day, uh, excuse me, every every week she has to come by and make some, some comment 
you know, and scoff about, about this bullshit right here. You know, you know, you know about, about this bullshit right here, right? That's what we think of your your, your beloved Cesare, right? That ain't the Lord. Exactly. The same God is gonna kick in your door, bust in the four four. Right? Exactly. This is uh, I guess I'm, this is uh, Job five and nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Yeah, so seven is a number of completion. So we're gonna the elect is gonna escape hunger, famine, pestilence, disease, uh, Esau's military. Okay, concentration camps. We're gonna accept, we're gonna we're gonna escape from all trouble, man. The verdicts, the judgments. Yep. It says in famine. We're not gonna go under mind control and hypnosis and, and bug the fuck out. You know, the Lord's gonna preserve us and and, and give us give us that uh, spirit of endurance and uh, that will be counted worthy to uh, receive salvation. You know, because this thing is about endurance. So Lord's will. You know that that's that's all of us. And that's all you brothers that are teaching the word. You know? Job 5 and 20, in famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. He shall hide thee from the scourge of the tongue. You know, and, and, and lesbianism, that's an abomination, all right? Yeah. That's an abomination. That's what's going to get you destroyed. They're not going to be hit from the scourge of the tongue. Exactly. The scourge of the tongue is when the judgment comes down, they're going to be put to death. Exactly. Then, then the Most High is going to fucking stomp them, them bitches' heads in, man. The guts out. The guts are going to stomp down. Job 5 and 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Yeah, they're not going to be hid from the scourge. They're going to head right for it. All right? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> head first, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're going to dive first right into that, man. Go ahead. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. <coughs> At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Thou shalt laugh, man. It's going to be very pleasing to see all of our enemies being wiped out, you know? That's going to be a very pleasant thing, man. Because right now, women are our oppressors, man. These, pe these, these people up, walking up and down these streets, making their uh, comments and, and, and scoffing or whatever, you know, they got a lot coming to them that they don't realize. But once we start seeing the destruction of these people, and we already seen it before our eyes, the most I broke <laughs> This this one bitch that was talking shit against us, he broke her leg right in front of us, man. So we're gonna see more of that and we're gonna rejoice. And that's exactly what we did, man. We praised the most high and we rejoiced. So it's gonna be more of that. There's gonna be more of that. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. We're gonna laugh, man. We're gonna we're gonna feel good. You know? Because meanwhile, we're gonna be preserved from all that. Right. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Mm -hmm. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be in peace with thee. Exactly. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation, and thou shalt not sin. Thou shalt not sin. Right. So there it is again. How are you not going to sin? You're going to rehearse the righteous acts, aren't you? Alright. That's where your mind is going to be, you know? Because we already said it at the beginning, you know, the keeping the commandments. That's ultimately not what's gonna redeem you, man. Because if you break one, one of the, one of the commandments, you break them all. But that don't mean that you just not keep the commandments at all. You know, you're not in the right spirit if you're thinking that way. So you know, America is gonna be destroyed, man. Two thirds are gonna be destroyed. These heathen, the so-called white men, these other nations, all right? You proud ass women, all right? That don't think you need a man, all right? But you're dealing with 10 of them at the same time. You're gonna be stomped, your head's gonna be stomped in, all right? So, Galatians 3 and 11. But that no man is justified by the law and of the power, it is evident for the just to live by his faith. And that's how we have to live, man, by our faith. But in doing so, in living by faith, we're going to rehearse the righteous act. We're gonna, we're gonna establish them laws. Uh, Romans 3 and 30, seeing it is one power which shall justify the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? 
God forbid. God forbid. Yeah, we established them all. So we gotta establish and acknowledge that this commandment is to be uh, uh, kept. Okay. Right? Obviously, we can't keep every wait, commandment. Wait, wait, no. No, it's obvious. We, it's obvious we can't keep every commandment, but there are things that we can't keep, man. And it's all a rehearsal and a practice for the kingdom to come. And the Lord is gonna what? Make a covenant with us, man. And our inward mind, or our inward parts, okay? Because in the kingdom, we're gonna be keeping the law perfect. So it's a foreshadow of things to come. But you gotta prepare your spirit. So Romans 13 and 10, love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. So law is fulfillment of, uh, love is fulfillment of the law. Right? Love working no ill to, towards his neighbor. So you know you gotta work charity within the camp. Okay? If your brother don't understand a, a, a particular thing in the scriptures. You know? That's love right there, man. You know? It's uh, Leviticus 25 and 35. And if thy brother be waxing poor and fallen in decay with thee, then thou shalt relieve him. Thou shalt yeah. relieve him. So you got to go out of your way for the brothers that are in your camp, man. If they're doing the right thing in the spirit. Right. Yeah, though he be a stranger, or, or a sojourner, or a sojourner, that he may live with thee. Yeah, that he may live with thee. All right. A stranger represents what? Israelite foreigners. Uh, uh, Leviticus 25 and 43. Thou shalt not rule over him with vigor, but thou shalt fear thy power. Thou shalt fear thy power, right? So, you know, you're supposed to raise even the, uh, even the least brother among the camp up. All right? But not to his hurt, but, but, but what? For, for the sake of building that brother up in the spirit. Yes, sir? Uh, Sarat 30, uh, Sarat. And this, this thing is about patience, Sarat. This thing is about patience too, you know? So, you know, sometimes a brother might not get things right away, you know? It, it ain't always gonna work like that, you know? But, you know, you still gotta work with that brother and, you know? Hey, that, 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 that was beautiful. These people just got bugged the fuck out because of that, that, that blowout, you know? <laughs> thought maybe there's gonna be a, a, a Boston here in Philly, a Boston bombing here in Philly. You know? That's the first thing you hear is bitches screaming. Yeah, right? Oh my god, what was that? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, man, you gotta be patient with that brother, man. You know? Build him up. Go ahead. This is a Sarai 29, I got two Sarai 29, verse 3. Keep thy word and deal faithfully with him, and thou shalt always find the thing that is necessary for thee. Yeah, yeah, read that again. Keep thy word and deal faithfully. Yeah, keep thy him. word and deal faithfully. Go ahead. Yeah, like uh, how shall I sit in my place and hold fast that which thou hast till I come. Okay, hold fast means hold tight, tightly this word, okay? Keep ourselves diligently in the, in the fear of the Lord and in the knowledge. It says, keep thy word and deal faithfully with him, and thou shalt always find the thing that is necessary for thee. Yeah, what is, what's that thing necessary for thee? The truth. Isn't knowledge, wisdom gonna be our stability? Right, so that's the thing that, that, that we need, right? Not no $50 FRN notes, you know? But, uh, so right, 20, 27 verse 28, mockery and reproach are from the proud, but vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. Yeah, <laughs> vengeance as a lion. Okay? Vengeance as a lion. So, when Yahweh Shai does come, man, he has nothing for the two-thirds but vengeance and indignation. Both sides gonna utterly destroy him. Uh, Isaiah 66 and uh, 15. It says, They that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in a snare, and anguish shall consume them before they die. Anguish shall consume them before they die, man. So, you're gonna suffer. You're gonna suffer, man. You know, because a lot of people, too, you know, I hear it all the time, you know, you're gonna die from something, you know, 